Well, we're going to have the second of the 1500 meters. Just about to get going. And we have Shandon in this one. Not sure where the others are from. But it's the Cultural Armor Games. And, they are. and uh, we have a little one here. Moving along nicely. Looks as if he's pretty serious as well. But we have a leader already. Shandon seems to be cruising in third. But there's a definite leader of the pack for the moment. And one of the green-shirted athletes, he seems pretty serious. Staying, he is in second. And then we have the little one, the smallest of the pack, he's right in the back. When does Shandon make his move? He hasn't done so as yet. He's still cruising, apparently, in third. But he's a very serious runner, I could tell you. When will he make his move? We'll have to wait and see. So, the green shirt at least. Shandon seems to be making that move just about now. He's still cruising, but he's closing the gap because the others are tiring. And so, when they're tiring, Shandon is going to get closer. Shandon, as usual, very determined. Moving around nicely. He's in third. And he's getting even closer. He's right on the heels of the two leaders. When will he make that move? He's making that move just about now. Shandon makes that move. Takes the lead. So, moving along really nicely now. He, he has taken the lead. And uh, he has been a champion athlete on this track. Continues to show that he's a long distance runner par excellence i'm not too sure i think green shirt is anguilla but we'll have to verify that and i'm not sure about the other athletes what i'm sure about is the leader right now who is being challenged now because the second placer seems to be getting trying to get back at the top and he's doing pretty well for the moment getting closer to shandon that's our little one jumping here looks serious too um, but we get back to the track somebody says let's go Shandon but the other guy is trying to stay close to him but I think if it comes down to a sprint Shandon has the energy but he's getting some encouragement as he goes past us that's the final lap so final lap this is where it really matters now can Shandon pull out the stops? Can the second placer get any closer and go past him? Does Shandon have enough to hold on to that lead? That's the big question. We'll have to wait and see. So, Shandon seems to be pulling away ever so slightly. The second placer doesn't seem to have enough gas to get alongside him as yet. Shandon holding on. It's not a big lead by any stretch of the imagination. But Shandon is holding on. The littlest of the lot, he just passed to hear the final whistle for him. Okay, Shandon seems to be pulling out the stops now. I think, well, the other guy is pulling it out too. So, what's going to happen here? Well, he's closing the gap on Shandon. I said if it came down to a sprint, Shandon should be able to hold on. And it's going to come down to a sprint. It has come down to a sprint. They're just about giving it their all now. Shandon is being chased. Shandon is being challenged and I think the other guy has enough. The other guy seems to have enough. Shandon doesn't have enough. The other guy ran a very smart race indeed. He knew he had enough on the sprint and he overtook Shandon on the sprint. So Shandon has to settle for the silver. And then we have the third placer coming through. And then we have the fourth placer coming through. And then we're looking for the tiniest of the lot. Where is he? He's all the way, way out there. He's going to get a big round of applause when he comes in. Because um, it's definitely, um, he's definitely not just the smallest, but I think he would be the youngest. And the youngest by a long shot too. And the fact that he's running this, I think it shows that... Um, He's a brave youngster. He's going to get a warm hand as he comes in. 
they are already um, celebrating and encouraging, warming to him as he pressures down the final 20 meters or so. Comes home to loud cheers. Very well done by the youngster. Seems like he could do another two miles. Oh, we're going to have a look now at the long jump. We have some really tiny tots here long jumping. Um, I'm not sure if you call that long jump. It has to be a little short jump, really. Those are very short legs. And uh, I guess it's um, all about development. Start them from really small. By the time they are 10, 12, 15, they should be jumping outside of the sandpit. Let's look at this one. Here she comes. Here's the jump. Well, not bad at all. Almost walked back into her mark, and that would have been a foul. But um, I think somebody warned her quickly, and she came right out. So... So it's the long jump for the tiny tots. Now cheers for the athletes. What you say? Here comes now. And there's that leap. Stands come forward, come forward. Yes, she comes forward. And that's a good jump. Is a taller one. She's much taller, but I don't think she did a bigger jump than the smaller one previous. So that that's not the best of jumps, but it's a good jump though. Clean jump, legit. Being measured and all. And and it's good to see too that the officials are even the tiny tots are officiating. They're training them from small. They're taking this thing really serious here. Very good indeed. And they're uh, getting them very quickly. Here goes another. Well, here's another jumper. Pushing through now. Leaps. Oh, she went back. She went back. Let's see if that red flag will go up. Uh, no red flag. White flag goes up. That's surprising. Well, you're not really supposed to fall backwards. I'm not sure what the ruling is on that, but it was allowed. Well, we at least have a name. This is Symphony. Symphony is going to make this jump. And she's going to make music here. Here's Symphony. Not a bad jump at all, Symphony. Well, we're here in Gonaya. Let's see what she does. Seems to be a division athlete by the look of things. Special support here. Here goes. Here she comes. She's taller. Good leap. Good leap that. And it's legit as well. Well, here's uh, another athlete. She looks ready. She looks serious. Here she comes. There's that leap. Oh, falling to the side. But that should be okay. White flag goes up. Here goes. And here's another jump before we go back to the track. One of the big athletes. On your marks. Well, we go to the track. I'm not too sure the distance. But it's a long distance race, that much I could tell you. And we have some four athletes all in dark outfits. In this one, we have one of them already pulling out, making a bit of a head start here, a bit of a lead, early lead. And we'll have to check and see if um, Williams and her mama in this one. I think they are. So, I would imagine that Mommy Williams is at the back. She normally just takes her time. And let's see where 
her daughter is second place it would appear we have a lead already but i know that um she's gonna challenge her she looks serious and then we have third place uh, and then of course mommy is here she's gonna run it all the way i could tell you that so if they burn out she's gonna win but she's not gonna challenge but at the top we have the more serious challenge and uh, second place already just about to make that move she wants to take that lead and she's intent on taking that lead so just slowing up slightly now maybe when she should have she probably feeling the pressure a little burnt out but she's still right on the heels of the leader of the pack for the moment but she's not going alongside which is a little worrying if you're supporting um, Nevis and um, not being able to go alongside the leader of the pack still maintaining that ever so slight lead it's not the biggest of leads but it is a lead and uh, still holding her own but still in second place the leader of the pack seems very determined to hold on to that but she's getting closer she's getting closer closer she's getting but um, again that athlete is pulling away two more laps to go is the call so maybe she's waiting for the last lap to make that move and then we have mommy don't have to worry about mommy she's gonna go all the way at the top right on the heels but still not going alongside the question is something we'll have to give because maybe it comes down to a sprint we'll have to wait and see when the last lap is announced who is going to make what move but something will give between these two it won't continue like this forever third place also don't count out she's not really far off if she continues to maintain that pace but at the top we still have that cat and mouse game being played here still a cat and mouse game when will the big move be made somebody will have to make a big move then the other will challenge and then we'll see who has the energy to finish she's still in second the leader still has that slight lead that slight lead has been maintained for the longest while for the last two laps or so well still close still close final lap now somebody something has to give something has to give she's making that move now does the leader have anything left she doesn't seem to have a lot left good move that but um she's trying to hold on but you could see she's struggling in that second spot at the top with her long hair flapping in the breeze um she has pulled away she has made that move question is can she hold on to it can she make it even longer a longer lead seems intent on doing that the second placer seems to have burnt out somewhat she's not responding i thought she had something left for the challenge because i think she would have known that something would give or maybe she's cruising for the last hundred meters maybe she's trying to hold on for the last hundred meters and see what happens but let's see making a bigger move at the top it's all Nevis, loud and clear. Williams pulling away. The last hundred meters. It's a bit of a show off now. She comes home, storms home like the champion she is. Pulling away at the right time. And what a finish. What a finish. What a finish. What a finish. Tremendous run. Shakes her locks and knows that she has done it. Champion run that.
and the second place uh, she just didn't have enough to hold on and give her a serious challenge at the end but she'll hold on to the silver medal here she comes silver medalist and then we have the bronze medalist she held on all the way around to that third spot here she comes in third and then of course mommy williams of course she would have done it and she wasn't going to stop she could have been going to sin kitch she wasn't going to stop finishes nicely very good run as usual so janissa williams won that won that um, race previously and now we are having the 1500 open meals so they're often running and I think we have Antigua represented in this one. We have athletes from Antigua and Anguilla here. St. Kitts and Nevis, of course. It's the Culturama Games 2024. The athlete at the top looks strong. Well, we'll find out in a few where the athletes are from in terms of the colors. Not too sure, but he looks pretty strong at the top. I'm not seeing any Nevis athletes in this one. Not reckon. Oh, there's a Titans athlete. So apparently some Titans athletes are in this one. So Titans represented. But at the top, the athlete in blue looks particularly strong. But can he maintain that? Because the others look strong as well. And they're not out of it at all. All of them looking pretty strong. Even though there's a leader with a bit of a lead. And I have to say a bit of a lead. Because that lead is being closed out. It's not a big lead. Um, but for the moment, he's holding on to it. But the others still looking pretty strong seem to be doing pretty well at the moment so here's the athlete coming through still looking pretty strong but we have two athletes at the top as well looking strong as well so two more laps to go Two more laps to go, and then somebody will make a move. The three athletes at the back here seem to be just holding on to that spot. I don't think they're challenging anyone at the top for the moment. So I think the race is between the three at the top. And something tells me that the leader is going to be challenged. Does he have enough to respond? That will make the race really exciting because if he can respond at the right time, it's going to be a serious race. We have another athlete who seems as if he just remembered and he's all the way behind. Well, let's look at the top again because at the top is where the real action is. Oh, one of the three athletes is dropping back badly, but the second placer is still holding his own. The second placer is still within striking range of the leader of the pack. The third place uh, seems to be struggling somewhat. Now we're gonna hear the call for last lap and we're gonna see what's gonna give here. Something is gonna give. Let's see, does the leader have enough? Because the second place is gonna challenge. Let's see when he makes that move. Does he have enough to catch up? And does the leader have enough to respond? Well, he hasn't quite gotten alongside us yet. He has to do something. He has to make a move right now. Can't allow it to go too close to the finish line. But the leader seems to be responding. The leader is holding his own. He isn't buckling at all. It's not a big lead. But the second placer doesn't seem to have enough to get alongside. But he's within striking range. That little extra effort. Where's that little extra effort? 
Well, he, he should be able to make a little extra effort. Yes, he is now. So let's see if the leader can respond. Can the leader respond? The leader tries to respond, but I think he has run a smart race that second placer because the leader is struggling somewhat to try to keep up now. He should have known that that, that was going to come, but he's come back. He's come back, the leader. He has enough. He responds like a true champion. He says, okay, you think you're smart, but I have the energy and what a run. Must be Anguilla, based on the chairs from the stand. He just didn't have enough to, to um, continue what he started. And let's see what happens at the back end now. One of the athletes has been lapped. But here's a race on here. Here's a race on. Here's a challenge. Here's a challenge. Does he have enough? Beaten at the line. And then we have the other Titans athlete coming through. Struggling badly. I think this youngster has to go around another lap. I don't envy him at all. He has one more lap. But this athlete is completing. I think he's completing. I think he's done. And sorry for this athlete. He has to make it all the way around to complete this race. So we have the winner here congratulating some of the other athletes. Yeah, I don't envy this athlete at all. He's burnt out. Why not make a shortcut and come back? I mean, you're already in that position. You don't have to, do you? But he's deciding that he who endures to the end. So he's going to endure to the end. Walk a little, run a little, but the point is to complete the race. And that's significant, huh? That's determination to the extreme. All about completing the course. Here he comes. I think he'll get a warm hand. I think he's going to get a warm hand as he comes in because that's serious determination. I don't think he had to. But the fact that he did, I think he deserves a round of applause. And he's getting a warm hand as he comes in. That's determination. I don't think you could pay me enough money to go around this track so many times in the hot sun. He has done a fantastic job. He has completed the course. Looks a little dazed as if he's not sure where he should be going, but the fact is he has completed the course. to verify which race this is but there's a race on here and uh, we have some six at least in this one hearing some cheering already and uh, let's see there's a leader there's a definite leader but being challenged can she hold on she's being challenged serious challenge here Here's a rush through now. Here's a rush through. Brilliant rush through here. What a tremendous finish. And there's some loud cheering going on somewhere. Somebody's screaming. Oh, that has to be Young Wallace. So Young Wallace winning that one. She just tore out from amongst them to take the gold. So young Wallace it is, storming away from the pack to take gold. Well, some of the little ones who we saw long jumping a while ago, they're going to have a, a run now. And uh, we're going to see 
who comes around here first they're really small in stature but um, all of them serious little athletes just about to get going they're on the status orders the gun has gone it's a clean start and that name we heard earlier symphony she's in this one as well we are seeing movements already very quick movements too by the leader of the pack the others well they seem to be struggling slightly in terms of serious catch-up but the leader definitely has a big lead and um, coming down the final 80 meters now there's only one thing could stop her from getting goal and that's if she faints or falls on the way and that doesn't seem as if it's going to happen at all not today not this week not next not well here she comes struggling slightly but she's holding on wins it with ease then comes the second place a uh, third place uh, to loud cheers and their friends race completed winner Backside. Same 
And they're off. As we can see, we have four runners from the Rainbow Rockets in the neon green. We have Blue Saturday Club Antigua, the red and black in lane three, and Kumakuram of full stride in the blue. So there you have it, men's 400 meters. Rainbow Rockets definitely stepping out and making a statement at this point in time in the race. 150 meters to go as Rainbow Rockets. Who is that now for Rainbow Rockets? Is that Lane 7? Lane 7 of Rainbow Rockets. Come on, Jerry, go with it. Rainbow Rockets. Number one, number two Rainbow Rockets. Also, Count of Strong, Roman Tiger, Big One Webster, Bruce Abbey. Here, Rainbow Rockets. Get across that finish line in first and second, followed in third position by Big One Webster of Bruce after the club and Tiger. Antigua, and then we have Alicia Douglas over the top track club and Tikia Nelson Supernova Athletics. No Angola in this line of yet at this point in time. So once again, lane three, Eugene Buckwitz here, lane four, Jada Pigott. Lane 5, Tiana Telemac, Alicia Douglas, Over Top Track Club, and Tikia Nelson of Supernova Track Club. Set. 
set. And the artists are off. Girls 14 meters under 15, this race must all the way be ran in lanes. As we can see, the two athletes in the outside lanes going up real hard. Nelson out there of Supernova. Tikka Nelson, lane seven. That's Ati Kumatiga coming up. Out to the house, the athlete in blue, the Alicia Douglas coming hard to the end and crossing the line first. It seems to be Tikia Nelson of Supernova. One athlete on the track to finish. Bring her home, crowd, bring her home. She is doing fine. Thank you very much. We are the medics. Medics, please come assist the athlete on the track. Medical. seem to make an early move as she ran up inside lane three has stepped out at least 10 meters ahead of everyone here a lot of straight out stamping an authority in this 40 meters under 15 girls Run of lane three. Definitely doing it for Yundi. But here we see the athlete Roman Tiger is turned into her as she seems to run on the path. Gladys Trinidad has is being pressed to the limit with the athlete Roman Tiger. Probably that piano, that solo out of a Tiger coming from behind. And Antigua finishes first place. Gladys in second place. Here we had also Antigua in third position, followed by Mina of Rainbow Rockets. Very good race here this afternoon. That's not what it's about. Run your race. When you finish, lie down on the track. boys off in a hot trot as we see athletes from Antigua stepping out of this will be a close race this one goes down to the wire Come on. As the athlete from 
over the top. Technic, one and two, over the top. Scored by Nevis Olympian, track champion. Omar Newton from Kabani Newton. Kaibani Newton takes it away for you today. And Vader Clark, that's over the top athlete from Nevis, doing exceptionally well here this afternoon. We're going to have a great Blue Islands track meet coming up shortly. meters off and running. We can see Rainbow Rockets in lane three, A1 Titans, lane four, another Rainbow Rockets and then blue. They are off and running. Seven athletes in a dual in point and meters race. That's Cardinal Rene out there in lane eight of Rainbow Rockets. Cardinal Rene of Rainbow Rockets stepping out there as we see the gun out there. As they are about to enter 300 meters, who will it be now on the curve? Still a tight bunch. It can be anybody's race at this time. But it seems like it's the athlete from Antigua who is stepping out here, making a profound statement as he powers down with 100 meters in this point of meter here this afternoon. What a run from that young lady. Beautiful on that finish line. Telemac, 
Greenboro Rocket, Logan Langlaw, Wadadley Club, Kian Gishard, Titans Adderley Club, Jevon Simon, Panthers International, Tazim Frederick, Black and Gold, Jalen Myers, Titan Athletics, Demori Dyer, Roots Athletic, and excellent Nisbet of Titan Athletic Club. Meter boys off a great start. Eight athletes out here. Who will it be now? This is going to be the race of the day. Athlete from Nevis definitely making a statement here. Zion. Is that Javon? As we can see here, coming to the line, we can see Tavi Frederick pushing hard, but Neve is going to take it. That's the way it should go. What a race today. We saw that one there with Javon. Simon of Panthers International being pushed to the line by Tazim Frederick of Black and Gold from Anguilla. What a wonderful game going so far. Stand up. the 20, 40 meters, off and running. As we can see, is that Mia McIntosh of Tigers, Tiana Leibert unattached, Shanika Renrick, Ruth Athletic, and Kyra Fenton, Ruth Athletic. Is that Tiana Leibard? Yep, they stepping up big on the field here in the 400 meters. Tiana followed by Mia McIntosh, Shanika Rini, uh, Tiara Fenton, and Shanika Rini, both of Ruth Alley. 400 meter under 20 girls. And 
there of the, the boys on the 20, 40 meters combined with the open class 40 meters. This is going to be a hot race as we see in the neon green Jokwan Richardson of Rainbow Rockets, I believe. That's the 400 meters, boys. It seems like an attic from Antique. And we're off, 80 meters, under nine, black and gold, and he's tearing away. This is definitely gold all the way. Is that Titus Harrigan? Oh my God, what a way to go. That's a way to go all the way to the finish line. This race was done, no mercy, as he Who will it be? Who will it be on the races? Oh, make some noise, I can't hear you! Make some noise, who will it be? Make some noise, I will make some noise! All the way to the finish line, I can't hear you! Make some noise, all the April! And we're the host, all of you, all of you, make some noise, I can't hear you! April Rogers of the Full Strike Track Club, what a way to go, Anguilla, the future of the nation. AXA Future Champions coming through. April Rogers of Full Strike Track Club. What a way to go in 20. Find him off. Find him off. Sit. And we are off. 
in the gold on the European 100 meters. Come on. Come on. We are seeing six meters coming through. Come on. Leave it all the way. And that's the daughter of a former Nevis Olympian, Corbin Wallace. Corbin Wallace following in the footsteps, stepping out early, showing the mark of a champion. Corbin Wallace showing the real class here in Nevis. Anguilla Nevis is going to team up for the Olympics. Don't worry yourself. We team up Anguilla Nevis here. We team up. Make some noise. One thing the athletes are doing good and they have a future. Who will it be? Who will it be? Oh. Oh, sorry. It will be some time. Whoa, well, it's up. Who will it be? Who will it be? I can't hear you. Make some noise. All the way, all the way to the line. All the way. All the way, all the way. Athletics, athletics, best. All the way, all the way. All the way. Push it through. Whoa. What a race. What a race. I told you so. It just keep getting hot and hot and speed and speed. How speed it is. Anguilla. And yes, we have the athletes in a long jumping. And the athletes over there start the right, so they are getting ready. Yeah, she's going to set a record today. Trust me. Yes, 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 who will it be? Who will it be? Make some noise all the way down. 100 meters. 100 meters. Athletics at its best. It looks like Anguilla. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go all the way. Make some noise. The youth here looking good. Yes, all the way straight home. Give them your support, come on. We appreciate it. Yes, man. Yes. And they are off. 100 meters. All the way. Who will it be? Who will it be? Make some noise. I can't hear you. Who will it be? All the way. All the way to the finish line. All the way. All and will off. Yeah, it's up. Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Make some noise. Make some one, two, three. 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 Make some noise. Find the ball. I can't hear you, make some noise! Make some noise! I can't hear you! I can't hear you! All the way, all the way, all the way! All the way, all the way, all the way! I told you so, I told you so. We got more buckets on the track, so. More young buckets. On the ball. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
goes 100 meters on the track, power down. As we see, athlete from Antigua, is that Antigua? Nevis taking over, coming through, is that the... That's Nevis taking first place in the girls' 100 meters here this afternoon. That is the girls, as we see a hot stepper here from the Rainbow Rocket stepping out. This is Gladys Trinidad. No mercy for the others. Gladys Trinidad of Rainbow Rockets making light work of that event here as she bolted down. On the mark. meters boys on the track who will it be is that an athlete from Antigua powering down but now here he comes Orina Kelly primary school powering through Kabash Connor of the Aurelia It seems to be a false start. And they're coming down the track. Who will it be here? Who will it be? As we can see, athletes, I believe that's from Antigua, holding on to the first position there. Yeah, this one got my hat. This one got my hat. Make some noise. Come on, and we are all the way. Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. noise. She in the orange. She's the orange. I tell you so. I told you so. I told you so. We got more rest buckets on the track. Yeah, this one up. Who will it be? Who will it be? Make some noise. I can't hear you all the way, all the way. All the way. Wow, all the way. Let's go. All the way. Oh, good farm. Athletics at its best. Yes, good running. All the way. Real farm, all the way. Oh, and this one is hot. This one is hot. Who will it be? Who will it be? Who will it be? All the way! Go, all the way. Oh, you're running, man. 1073. Make some noise. Name is Antigua. I can't hear you. Antigua. I from all over Antigua. Make some noise, Antigua. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't see you. Make some noise. I can't hear you. Let's hear it for our Danley Antigua as they pull through. All good athletes in this region. From way, way back, Lester Benjamin, reporter Charles, keep going back.
even down to Ray Benjamin right now. So the foundation has been laid already, so they just build on it and build on it and be getting stronger and stronger and stronger, all right? Yeah, man. So, so you will tell me we have the, the, the top athletes. We're going to be taking over the Olympics, okay? So we say it here, so everything set. Foundation done been laid. Strong, strong foundation. Make some noise! We having a good time. Then we're going to tell them make some noise. I can't hear you. I keep it alive. All right. We work as a tag team. We going we can pick up all the sponsors. All the sponsors. Yes, the action has been going good all afternoon. 100 meters taking place on the track. After 100 meters, there will be a medal presentation for top place finishers. But we want to acknowledge the sponsors of this meeting this afternoon. We have the Caribbean, Nevis Island Administration, International Insurance NV, the Sani, that's the Sani Water, SOPAC, and Power Aid. Also, Tim Kane's an associate. This meet has great sponsorship and definitely we're gonna stay alive for a long time. Sweet soft songs in the meantime. Back to track side. Yeah. Jackson, Damon, on your mark. Sit. Men's 100 meters pouring down the track. Good run by the athletes. Very close finish by all athletes. That's the men's 100. On your box. So we're going to have the starts of another one of the 100 meter events. 100 meters. 100 starters come in. So it's a female thing at this point. Happy to rejoin you after an extended period of recording the Village Premier League finals. Very exciting finals it was, the Guyanese versus Bushwhackers. And uh, Guyanese seemed to be running away with the game. 
and Bushwhackers turned the turned the game on its head and won in the end. Intense final overs, couple of overs. But back on the track at the Mondo, Nevis Athletic Stadium. It's gonna be another fast one. Don't blink, don't wink. Or you might just miss it. They are yes, oh, all the way, all the way. Let's see just on the track. Let's see who is taking this one. And some nice, some nice. And the some lead nice. in all there. We have a leader. We have a leader. We have a leader. Good one, yes. Well done, yes. Second. Definite okay. winner. Make some noise. Print it. Print it. Wow, 11.72, okay. 11.72. I love what I've seen on the road. I love what I've seen on the road. Well, say it's a record. 11.72, very good, very good. First place, so I mean, she will be 11 in something. 11, 7, 5. Good one, good one, good one. Good one. Come on, here, a new record. Come on. A new record. All right, good. We can do it. So we are fight hard to get a track. Okay? So we're going to have the males 100 meters. It's going to be a fast one. So we expect it to be a fast one as well. Hold on, hold on, starter, hold on. So he's back, track side. And we're going to have the big boys, big men. They're going to race down here. And we're going to see who is going to get here first. They're primed. They're ready. Under starter's orders. Still waiting, and they're gone. And they're Clean start. So let's see who's gonna take this one. And we have a leader. We have a leader. We have a leader. Cruising home. Took it with ease in the end. Seems to be just cruising at the end there. Very good run by the men. 100 meters, seems to have a crime of plus time, 10.48. Seems as if it must be a record because and he's and celebrating. And he's out of Antigua. Yeah. Somebody's saying it's St. Kitts, not Antigua.
looks as if we're gonna have another 100 meter event i don't know if it's males or females we'll wait and see they're on the status orders so on the status orders from this distance it would seem that it's a group of males it's going to be another fast paced one just about to get out of the blocks and we get a clean start double false gun start, false. false start false start so just about to get going on the status orders we already had a false start and hopefully this time everything will be okay somebody might be in trouble if they double false start sometimes they don't get a second chance i'm not sure if anybody was taken out i think in the big leagues um, definitely one chance you mess up you're gone They're gone this time. Yeah. Clean start. Yeah. Who's going to take this one? one Let's see who's All the taking the lead fast, here. Eh? This is quick. Make this is quick. Nine. This is quick. Oh. This is quick. Oh. Well, I think we have a clear winner, though. Good running. Good but running. All Make quick. Yes. Tight one. Make but we have a clear noise. winner. Good running.
Girls long jump on the nine. In third place, we like to invite Duriel Wilkes of OKP Panthers, third place. Duriel Wilkes, third place of OKP Panthers. OKP Panthers, Duriel Wilkes. In second place of Rainbow Rockets, we have Cleopatra Lewis. Cleopatra Lewis of Rainbow Rockets, second place. And in first place of Black and Gold Track Club, let's invite Kenaya Hall. Kenaya Hall, Black and Gold Track Club, first place. Give it up for the girls, long jump on the nine athletes, first, second, and third place. Let's give it up for the women's long jump on the 17 girls. 
third place, Kenya Bogo, second place, Kenja Asta, and in first place, Jada Gunthru. We move on to the boys, Long Jump on 11. In third place, from Rainbow Rockets, let's invite Jadayan Books. Jadayan Books of Rainbow Rockets, third place. Can we invite a representative of his up here? Jadayan Books of Rainbow Rockets, third place. Also of the Rainbow Rockets in second place, let's invite Timoni Richardson. Timoni Richardson of Rainbow Rockets, second place. And in first place, coming from OK PS Panthers, let's invite Jamie Jackson. Jamie Jackson, first place. Men long jump on the 11. Janice 
Well, based on the last medal count, Titans was out front. And uh, that's good news for Nevis. And we have javelin also going so on. So, javelin still going no, on. Long sure. jump still yeah, going yeah. on. A the high jump is finished. Speaking of long, it so has been a finished. long day. This is the second half. It's now half past Four seven on the PM. And uh, still have more events to go. 
has been an extended day. They are waiting the start of the 150 meters. But meantime, still have some long jumps going on. There's a whistle at the far end. Must say that the lights out there are pretty much out. So only two of the lights are functioning really well. But hopefully when they make the turn on the final 100 meters, we should be able to pick them up, the athletes that is. One meter and 50 meters, okay? After they going to the 800 meters and the 200 meters, so. It has been a really long break as well. Obvious that the organizers have nowhere to go after this, nothing else to do but sleep. Other people are not so fortunate. Have to type and edit and do all kind of other stuff. Well, finally on their way, 150 meters. So it's the little ones. And uh, they have their support in terms of their different island support. We have a leader, yes we have a leader, not by far though, being challenged, but she's going to take it. 150 meters, the little one starring in this event. I think, I think we're going to have another, another 150 meter event and uh, difficult to pick up the athletes from this distance. Okay, we are getting ready for the 150 meters, after that we have the 800 meters. Light, very poor, I must and tell you. The, the athletes are somewhere and here. We and should be getting out of the block shortly. Well, they're out of the blocks, and you could see that it's some little ones as well. So, movement is really nice. They are coming down. All the way, all the way. Here they come. Uh, all the way one of them seems to be tired. Here comes. 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 Five athletes in this one. Street, who will be? So, movements be being made here. We have a tight one at the top. Tight finish at the top, but it looks as if we have a clear winner. Clear winner. Yes, man. Good running, good running. Thank you for the support. Loud support at the back of us, too. On the status orders, another group in the 150 meters event. After this, there's still 200 and 800 and really it's, it's going to be a long night, folks. It's a 150 meters. So, 150 meters. One of the athletes really warming up down there. She's in all gold. We'll see her as she gets closer.
so under status orders should be getting out of the blocks shortly are you ready one percent of 50 meters meanwhile 20 meter at least get yourself ready 800 meters get ready so, a little bit of a hush here at the Mondo. I think the folks are just a little tired, really. It has really been a long day. Well, at least still warming up. It's not too chilly here at the Mondo. Sometimes um, there are times when it's too really cold. Although the folks in North America and Europe would tell you that we don't know what cold is, but there are times when it gets really chilly here at the Mondo. Tonight is not too bad, really. Cool night. Out of the blocks, we have four athletes in this one. And we'll see them as they get a little closer as they come on the final 100 meters. Just about 50 meters to go. We have a leader. We have a leader here pulling away from the pack. She's totally in control. She bows as she makes it home. And the others come. Well, I was saying she, but I'm not even sure now. Could yes. be boys with um, the hairstyle, right I'm not even sure. Four of you, you ran a good race, right? And we are getting ready for the 800 meters. It's two laps. We have the final lap, so let's see who will it be, who will it be? You need your support, come on, cheer them on. Make some noise, give them that support. It's the final lap of the 800 meters. All the way. Over there is really dark, I can tell you. But I think we are picking up the lead of the pack. About 150 meters away. Who will it be? Who will it be? Making the turn momentarily. It's the final, final lap. It's meters. the stretch. Hold now. Who will it be? On the home stretch. On the home stretch, who will it be? Who yeah, will he it comes. Be? Make some noise all the way. Oh. She comes. Here she comes. She has taken it by storm. By a long shot. And the others. Here's the tight one. Here's the tight one for third. Great running. And we have more competition here coming from. Can the one in red push her a little more? No, she doesn't have anything left. It's another 800 meter event. We have some free athletes in this one. And uh, it's a pity that we don't know the countries represented, the clubs represented, nor the athletes. I think it's two times around this track. We have two athletes staying close at the top, and then we have another athlete trailing. But he seems pretty strong for the moment, the third placer. The leader seems to be pulling away slightly. Looking pretty strong for the moment. Just the way he's running reminds me of young Newton, but I'm not sure. him and uh, the other 
third place and now closing the gap on the second place. Huh? So the leader of the pack seems to be tiring somewhat, but he has a, a lead. And uh, the others trying to stay close. still has a lead. But second placer seems to be coming back. He's not out of it, nor the third place of Paul Kerr. I mean, not a long distance. And uh, the one at the top just seems to be tiring slightly. But let's see what happens here. The two behind, increasing momentum now. I think the leader is in problems here because they're closing the gap. Showing that they have some energy left, especially the one who originally was in third place. But the leader pulls out the stops. The leader has decided, boy, I'm not going to give up this lead. He dug deep. And now we have a little sneak up here for second as the leader wins but here's a little rush here and he holds on to second place they both go down they've given it their all that's the end of the race another 800 meter event four athletes in this one and uh, the one on the inside looks particularly strong uh, moving along nicely but at the top we have two athletes in front of her and one behind her but she I think is making some waves looking pretty strong on the inside but still hasn't taken the lead as yet as a matter of fact she seems to be burning out somewhat now looked promising early but seems to be burning out so at least at the top, still looking particularly strong. So, we have two at least at the top, still staying close to each other. The second place uh, looks stronger than the one in front with that slight lead coming alongside her now. But the leader is saying, I'm holding on to this very slight lead, ever so slight. One more lap to go. And then we have the third placer, and I believe one of the athletes may have pulled out. I think so. So we started with four. We are down to three. And that athlete who started so promisingly, she seems to be struggling. I think the race is between these two. Something tells me that the second placer is having some big aims here. She's staying tight, staying close. And uh, I don't think this race is over yet. The leader, however, seems to be pulling out the stops. She is pulling away. Suddenly, she's pulling away. And I'm not seeing the good response from the second placer. So. Looks as if the first placer had it all planned. And look at her. Even increasing. Even increasing. As she rushes to the finish line. This is a strong finish. Tremendous finish. What a finish. Gold. Silver. Not doing badly at all. Pretty good finish as well to take the silver medal. And then we have the third placer coming through to take the bronze and uh, here she comes remember she started very aggressively I actually thought that she was going to take the lead on the first hundred meters or so but um, that didn't work out but she has endured to the end and she would take the bronze medal 
Meanwhile, the athlete who dropped out is getting some attention. Well, she went down and they were screaming at her to get up. And she got up. Well, we are seeing Newton in this one. He's a top athlete. Keep your eyes on him. I guess all the others are top athletes as well. Keep your eyes on Newton. If he's beaten, he has to be beaten by a very good athlete, I can tell you that. 800 meters it is. Newton trying to establish an early lead. But he's been challenged. And it looks as if the athlete who is staying close to him has decided, well, you're the one I'm going to follow. And I'm not going to let you out of my sights. The others seem to be in cruise control, coming along nicely, but um, at the top, definitely, we have Newton still with a slight lead, trailed very tightly by the second place, I'm not sure who he's representing, but um, Newton with a lead, Newton seems to be just slowing up somewhat. We have one more lap after this. And I think Newton knows that he has a race on his hands here. So the athlete is challenging very nicely indeed. Staying close. One more lap is a cry. The whistle goes. The others are trying to stay in the program. So let's see what happens here at the top. So, here it is, Newton still with the lead, second place uh, dropping back slightly and if I know how Newton normally runs his races, he's going to try to give a burst of energy on the final 100 meters, so can the second place uh, respond, does he have it in him, because he'll have a serious finish on his hand, Newton is already making that move already making that move he knows that it's the final 100 meters coming up and he's making that move i don't think the other guy is trying his hardest now he's giving this his all as well but newton had that bit of a lead already and he can't catch it not this year not next year not the one after that either and newton takes the goal and so the second place he settles for the silver congratulates him we have a tight one here for the bronze who is going to take it? It's a tight one. It's a close one. Uh, well, I think he tipped him. I think he tipped him right at the line. Brilliant finish that. Another 800 meter event. We have Janissa and uh, Vanessa Williams in it again, mother and daughter combination. And uh, of course, Janissa is going to try to take a lead early. And uh, Vanessa is going to run at that pace, basically, but she's going to hold her own all the way through. Anybody drops out, she's going to pass them. On the other hand, Janice here will try to take the lead at some point if she hasn't already. We are not sure. They are all in black, so we'll have to wait and see when she gets a little closer. Who is really in the lead? So, coming through now. Yeah, it seems to be. Well, it looks like Janice is slightly in second not far though and i think that's the same athlete she beat in an earlier race now she has decided on the final whistle to take the lead so she has gone in the lead now definitely in the lead not by far third placer seems to be threatening somehow so She 
definitely has the lead, but um, to not totally in charge because the second place is right on her heels and making a move. I think it might come down to a bit of a sprint. And uh, who has the most energy at that point will prevail. Janicia seems to be pulling away. She has decided that this is the time to make that move. Final 100 meters coming up and she has certainly pulled away. Running a very good race indeed. Storming home now at a very good clip indeed. This is a tremendous finish by Williams. Here she comes. Brilliant finish this. Totally dominating the race. Smartly run too. And uh, second place that comes through. She came third in the previous race. She has settled. She has that the second. This one who came strong second finish, as she settled for third. And then we have uh, Mommy Vanessa coming through. Always maintains a pretty good clip. That's right. Strong it's a warm finish. hand. Good start. Oh, look at the athlete on the outer lane. He's really moving around quickly. You almost would think that this is a 400 meter pace, or is he just a trendsetter because he's burning out already? Maybe he was only a trendsetter. I was wondering about that. He has burnt out really badly as the others close the gap on him now. Maybe his intention was just to burn out some others so his teammate could take over. I'm not sure it worked out too well though. He has burnt out really badly. Started out as if he was doing a 400 meters, really. And uh, somehow I don't think the ploy worked. So they'll have one more lap after this. We have a definite leader for the moment. Moving along really nicely. Then we have the others. And one of them already, he's going to pull out. He's pulling out, but he should have moved off the track. But he's flat on the track there and needs a red cross. Somebody's calling for the red cross. Medic, medic, medic. Medic. final 100 meters now he's really storming this one large and in charge totally in control here he comes oh my goodness he seems to be even increasing his pace here what a run what a finish tremendous run running all by himself totally in control and then we have a struggle for second place here struggle for second place then we have the others. Well, more coming through. Two more athletes. Here comes the one in blue. And he gets home. And then we have the final athletes. Still has a pretty good clip and uh, coming through to finish the race. And the athlete who fell down, well, 
passed out on the track. He is here being attended to. So he'll be okay. We are getting into the 200 meter events now. And the first one is on the way. And uh, there are no and big announcers here today. So we are not getting the details on these races. But here they go. 200 meters. The lighting as I indicated, not the best, but I'm um, here. We have a clear cut winner, I think. Here she comes. Clear cut winner. Clear cut winner. Good job, good job. have another group of 200 meter athletes coming around. Shouts already starting in the stands and uh, it looks as if we have a fleet footed one here. Um, well a real challenge on now because what's happening is that on the inside, well in the middle of the field, we have a leader, definite leader, pouring away to the but she's been challenged now she's been definitely challenged but can she get close she will get close it's gonna be tight it's gonna be tight but she holds on so the one in the green really forced her all the way there she still managed to hold on to the end but that was a and she pats her that's great that's great almost did it she said but you won Another group of 200 meter athletes. You <laughs> really hear the support back of us. Looks like the Tiger is in this one. So Fayola Brown is sounding the alarm. Here goes, where's Tiger? We have, we have one in the middle of the field here, seems, but then there's a challenge on. Tiger is struggling. Here's the winner. Tiger was struggling in this one, really. Gave it his all, Tiger. Congratulations there. I must say that they're getting these 200 meter events quickly out of the blocks. We have another one coming up. Just about to get on the way. Out of the blocks, they go. We have another 200 meter event. And uh, still, probably under 11, under 12, some very young athletes. Who is going to take this one? Well, we have someone who has decided he's going to take it all by himself. He's running away from the pack. White top and all. He has taken it by storm. And look at that. Look at that. Saying hush. He has a little bit of style with him too. The youngster. A little bit of style. Well, a lot of style, I can tell you. Saying hush. These guys watch too much TV. I don't even know if he started to say hush before he crossed the lane. But he definitely was putting his fingers on his finger on his lips and saying hush. We have another two hundred meter event. All of the two hundred <coughs> meter athletes are in that general area, so they just have to get them in the blocks as soon as this one has started. Here they come. We look as if we have a lead already, but on the inside. Keep your eyes on the inside because I believe there's a race on still. No definite leader as yet as the last 80 meters or so. Let's see who's going to break away. We have a close one, but we have a leader now. A definite leader now. Taking control. Cruising home to take gold. And the others. So 
so she eventually stormed away from the others tall lanky athlete totally in charge totally in control and the status orders another group of 20 meter athletes <coughs> this might be a group of boys let's see who will come around here now moving along nicely on the inside somebody's making waves somebody's making waves and uh, turn now on the final hundred meters looking pretty sharp coming down the track um, let's see if he's been challenged no challenge he's all clear this is gold this is a definite gold it's a girl it's females she takes it quite easily so it's another female race meters clean start and uh, movements being made here it's a culture army games here at the nevis athletic stadium 200 meters i would assume it's some older athletes now they had the little ones earlier and we have a leader already establishing the lead here he comes taking this one pushes away from the pack with ease meters and we have one athlete on the outside looking clear of the pack but he's not quite clear because now that things even up here on the final hundred meters it gets really dicey but he's being challenged now who is going to take this one he's still trying to hold on to that lead he's still trying to hold on he's holding on he's going to take it still good run good finish great finish And the status orders once more. Just about to get out of the blocks. We still haven't seen the old athletes come around on the torn jet. Clean start. One gun. Who is going to take this one? Seems to be a little bit of a jostling now for that first spot. Let's see as a straighten up now on the final hundred meters. Is anybody clear? We have a clear athlete. She's clear or she's clear. She's definitely clear. Taking this one like a champion. The others come through. But she took that with ease. the status orders another group for the 200 meter event we have seen some pretty good races so far oh, just about 12 minutes to 9 on the p.m. here it goes have a leader on the outside but that might change let's see if it changes just about no nobody's gonna catch her nobody's gonna catch her she's storming away storms away from the pack brilliant run these are older girls more senior girls and the winner stormed away from the pack the status orders another group of 200 meter athletes still have the four by ones um, I'm not too sure how many 
and that would conclude a long day. Set. Clean start. And uh, let's see if we can pick up the athletes. Well, we are seeing two of them rushing away from the pack. It's going to be a good finish, this. Two of them challenging each other. And this is going to be a good race. This is a great finish. She pulls away. One of them pulling away from the others. And so, clear winner in the end. Even though it was a good challenge for most of the race, the winner pulled away in the end. Another race coming up. I should be getting out of the blocks shortly. Clean start, no double gun. Where are the athletes? And uh, well, my goodness, this guy is pulling away. But then he's been challenged, so this could be a very good finish here, but he's storming away. He pulls away from everybody, and he just takes it with ease. He just storms away from the pack. And uh, one of them just getting home, just about. Smallest of the pack, stumbling slightly at the finish. Uh, we are having another 200 meter event. Kendra Aska, Wings Sport Club. Lane 7, Alea Connor, Rainbow Rockets. And in lane 8, Kaldris Chapman, TC Immortals. And the 17 girls, 200 meters. So you see, under 17 line. girls, 200 meters. Let's see who is going to take this one. Nice to hear the athletes being named. So, should be getting out of the block shortly. They're on the way. Who is going to take this one? We have a we have a tear way at the tear on the outside, but then as they straighten, might have a challenge. But I don't think she'll have a challenge. She won't have a challenge. She's pulling away. She's storming away. That's Caldries. And then a tight one for Silva. But she just stormed away from the back. Tremendous run. <laughs> and the status orders once more. Should be getting out of the blocks momentarily. Clean starts. Are we going to have a runaway again? Or is it going to be more competitive? Here they come. Looks competitive for the moment. But it would seem that somebody's pulling away ever so slightly. And I think we have a definite leader here being challenged or being challenged. But she's going to take it. She takes it with ease. There's some screams down below. Let's hope that everybody's okay. Believe it or not, it's now eight minutes past nine on the PM. We're still at the Nevis Athletic Stadium. 
kind of way past my bedtime now, really. But I guess when duty calls, sometimes you have to forfeit sleep for a moment. So just about to get going. A little bit of a hush yet, the mondo. Clean start out of the blocks. Uh, well, who is going to take this one? Fast pace here going. Fast pace going. Do we have a clear leader? I think we do. We have a leader. He's pulling away from the others. And here he comes, storming away to take gold. For one moment there, I felt as if there was a bit of a drizzle. And I'm telling you straight up if this starts if any kind of rain starts that's it but for the moment i'm not feeling anything again so let's stand by for yet another 200 meter event they are under starters orders so it's the turn of the boys under 17 boys 200 meters the crowd is um certainly diminishing people are going home some are staying the course though, but we have a race on here. Under 17 boys. And we have a good challenge here. But we might just have one of the athletes pulling away. He is pulling away. And he, he's been challenged, but he's winning. With his locks flying in the breeze. So another race completed. So I think 200 meter series, 200 meter series of the Tupac IIC and Under 20 females, 200 meters, just about to get on the way. Some of the visitors here in the stand still pretty lively. They have no way to go really from here to the guest house and then on the flight tomorrow back to their respective islands. They're enjoying themselves. Should be getting started any moment now. First heat of the under 20 males, 200 meters. There are two heats. And this is the first one coming up. Out of the blocks. Here's where the big boys play. First of two heats. The screams in the stands already. Somebody is going to take this one. Just about in the middle of the track he has it he storms home and he looks to be great there great here of titan taking that one razor of titans it is storming away from the back great here of titan aesthetics 21.72 I think they only did one heat, so it's now going to be the open males over a distance of 200 meters. Should be a rapid one, too. And I believe that the times have been closely watched because you have Four. national times to be beaten and all that on the way. And, uh, 
Let's see who is taking this one there. Causing a buzz in the crowd. Definite buzz in the crowd. There you go. But we have a leader pulling away. Maurice it is. Stanley second. Open So the 200 meters are over, they're going to have the 4 by 100 meters. Mixed, mixed 